Hi everyone, happy Monday. I'm Joe for jazzpiececasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case of 2021 Bowman Chrome Baseball. Pick your team number 22. Big thanks to everyone here for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. And no fillers either. We were able to knock this out straight up, which I appreciate. And Logan ended up getting the last spot mojo right there. That's why he has that star next to his name. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. That's what they say. This case open. All right, you can see four. On the top camera right there, there's four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All 12 boxes. And let's pop this open. Let's go. Remember, two autographs per master box, one per mini on average. A couple of boxes right up on top there. Myself a little room. Once again, the final printout. All right, good luck everybody. Well, the baseball season's over, but the hot stove is starting. The other scary thing is that on December 1st, the collective bargaining agreement between the owners and the players ends. So they have to renegotiate another, uh, another contract, which, which is gonna be interesting. I mean, I think at the height of the pandemic last year, those, those two sides were not getting along. And we, we lost a lot of baseball because of that. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's going to be any better this time around. So fingers crossed that we, we don't have to deal with uh, we don't have to deal with any any lockouts or strikes or anything like that. We got a U Darvish to 250. Local, what's up? What's up with the Jaspies 3? What's your question about it? There's Pedro Leon. And that's for the Strohs. That's going to be for Parker and the Astros. Did Andrew Heaney get eight million dollars? Is that is that what TJ's saying? Zach Veen, Speckle. And we got a gold shimmer. Jefferson Cuero, there's a number right there, 25 out of 50. Kind of hard to see against the background right there, but. That'll be for the Brew Crew, that's gonna go to Christopher. Is that right, one year to, I, let me look that up. MLB trade room, there it is. Dodgers to sign Andrew Heaney. Interesting. Forty-three out of fifty, Pedro Pena. I guess for a one-year deal, that's not so bad. If 
feel like he hasn't really played very well, but I su I suppose the Dodgers think that uh, think that they see something in him that they can improve. I'll take a one year gamble though, especially if they if the club thinks that they could they can get him back to sort of what he could be. I mean, I think that's not a bad deal if you if you think that Dustin May, for example, I don't think is going to be ready by the beginning of the season after his Tommy John surgery. So maybe they're kind of planning on that. I don't know where they're going to be in the Max Scherzer sweepstakes. I'm certain that Clayton Kershaw will be re-signed, but maybe they're just looking for back end of the rotation kind of kind of deal. Eight million bucks for for a pitcher who could gobble who could potentially gobble up 150 plus innings in the middle back of the rotation. I'll take that. Depth. So it'll be like what? Walker Bueller, Julio Urias, Clayton Kershaw, Andrew Heaney, something like that. Per possibly Max Scherzer. And then I guess maybe in the middle to late part of the season, you kind of start getting Dustin May back into the action. That's an interesting move, though. I wonder if they'll start sliding... I think Dodgers still have David Price for another season or two. I wonder if they're going to try to slide him into the rotation as well, depending on what happens with Max Scherzer and Clayton Kershaw and and I guess Trevor Bauer, whatever happens with him. It's Tyler Soderstrom to two ninety nine. Wait, was that other speckle numbered? I missed that. Sure was, Joe. Sure was. That Zach Veen was to 299. This would have shipped anyway, but let's just give it the sleeve treatment so it'll get top loaded. There's Jesus Para with a tiny autograph that goes to Christopher and the Brew Crew. I don't I think we've, I don't remember a Super Fracture out of here. Does anyone remember a Super Fracture out of here? It's Jared Kelly Refractor to 499 for the White Sox. That's gonna go to Mark. I feel like I would have remembered. Yes, Logan. All card ship. I had to remind myself too. I just looked at the item description. All card ship. So yeah, if I miss like a a variation or something random like that, no, it'll all go. Two fifty. Purple shimmer. Kind of hard to see the first numbers. One sixty nine out of two fifty. Wander Franco. Rays. Rob. There's Tanner Murray. Another Tampa Bay Ray. For Rob. Yeah, I feel like we're due for a super factor. I feel like we would have, I would have remembered one for sure. Ian Anderson to 99. There's Ian Anderson for the world champion Braves, Andrew, with the Bravos. All right, next box. Get the 
the sounds of Monday Night Football on in the background. Chicago at Pittsburgh. We did have a poll posted. I was asking people about an hour ago. You can still vote if you're in the chat. Who wins Monday Night Football? Who wins the game tonight against the spread? We got 60% of the 35 voters. They would take Pittsburgh minus seven. I'm, I'm personally on uh, a little investment on the Bears at plus seven. With such a low total total score according to Vegas. I feel like I felt like I had to take the touchdown. We'll see what happens. And then there's the, I'm looking at MLBTradeRumors.com, one of my favorite sites throughout the season and the offseason especially. They have the uh, free agent prediction contest. Definitely going to enter that. Another Brewer autograph for Christopher. And there's Helcris Olivares for the Rockies. That's going to go to Anthony in Colorado. Number 11 Colorado prospect. Matt Chapman to 150. Matt Chapman will go to Oakland. Joe with the A's. And there's Luis Mieses, 60 out of 499 refractor autograph for Mark and the White Sox. Is there a Manning cast for this game? No, it does not look like there's a Manning cast for this game. I guess we'll have to listen to the regular broadcast. There's Randy Arozarena to 299. That's another Tampa Bay Ray for Rob. Vince, what do you got in this game? Allen Robinson, two plus touchdowns at plus 2200. It is a long shot, but hey, that's a good payout. Why not? He's back in action. All it takes is, you know, one blown coverage. A quick toss in the red zone. Who knows? luck. Let's see, what else is happening in baseball? Yeah, I know, right? There's so many underdogs. I hate last week. Or this, this past Sunday, so yesterday. Um, Rays pick up option on Mike Zunino. Select Renee... Pinto and designate Adam Conley for assignment. J.D. Martinez does not opt out of contract with the Red Sox. And Cubs claim Wade Miley off waivers from the Reds. Wade Miley threw a no-hitter last summer. Mets extend qualifying offers to Michael Conforto, Noah Syndergaard, and White Sox exercise option to keep Craig Kimbrell, who did not look good at all with the White Sox, but maybe they think that's just a blip. 
All right. Next box. And there's a Tucker Bradley. Kansas City outfielder going to Nick L. and the Royals. And we'll never be Royals. Royals. Jose Garcia, refractor to 499. That's for the Reds, Justin with the red legs. Ooh, that's caught. And there's Jordy Barley, 38 out of 99. Green parallel. It's a weird top loader. Look at this. Kind of see there's no there's no left side edge to this top loader. It's a regular top loader. Aha. Uh -huh. Just never sealed it on the left side. No. Jordy deserves more than that. Jordy deserves a complete top loader. That will be for Christopher Sanchez and the Padres. Sorry, throwing around the card here. Number 17 prospect in the Arizona Fall League. There's Geraldo Perdomo. Geraldo? Geraldo? To 150. Uh, Brian with the Diamondbacks gets that blue parallel. All right, next box. Fourteen players receiving qualifying offers. Someone was asking, was it weird that, that Kershaw didn't get a qualifying offer? I don't think so. Some people have perceived it as a as a slight, but I don't think so. I feel like you give qualifying offers to people that you that you think, oh, that's a Pittsburgh touchdown. You've given it to players who you think are probably gonna be signed elsewhere. You know, so then you kind of protect yourself because if they do sign elsewhere, then I think you can get a draft pick back. So I think they're signaling to Kershaw, we don't need a qualifying offer. We're going to re-sign you anyway. Uh, Brandon Belt for the Giants. Nick Castellanos, Michael Conforto. Nick Castellanos for the Reds. Conforto for the Mets. Correa for the Astros. Freddie Freeman for the Braves. Rysel Iglesias for the Angels. What was that card? That was interesting. Uh, Robbie Ray for the Blue Jays. Eduardo uh, Rodriguez for the Red Sox. Corey Seager for the Dodgers. Marcus Simeon for the Blue Jays. Trevor Story, Rockies. Noah Syndergaard, Mets. Chris Taylor, Dodgers. Justin Verlander, Astros. It seems like it'll, it makes sense. All right, next final. Who knows where this guy goes? There's Max Scherzer. There's J.J. Bladé, Purple Shimmer for the fish. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. Out of 250. 231 out of 250 for the Marlins, Rob. And nice. Clark Schmidt, rookie jersey and autograph. 24 out of 130. Nice hit for the Yankees. That's going to go to Shane. It's pretty cool. A chrome autograph relic. Nice. There's Julio Rodriguez. 113 out of 250. For the Mariners, that'll be for PJ and the M's. Supposed to be pretty good.
McMadrigal. So I think this is a variation, a photo variation, because it's a refractor, but it's not numbered. That'll be for Mark and the White Sox, still White Sox edition here. He's supposed to be pretty good too. With the Cubs now. There's Miguel Ble uh, Blaise, maybe? Boston, that'll be for for Randy and the Red Sox. Rita's number 20 prospect in his international uh, draft class. Nice. Ooh, and some red. Three out of five. Brady Singer. Nick L. with the Royals. Gets the rookie red out of five. And, of course, the train whistle out of fives and under. Get the world famous. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice, congrats. All right, another box. Good luck. According to Baseball Reference, going back to qualifying offers, this is the highest number of qualifying offers issued since the 2015-16 offseason when a record 20 players received qualifying offers. Only six players received qualifying offers last winter, which was the lowest. So these players have until November 17th to decide whether or not to accept the offer. If they accept, they'll get $18.4 million next season. They can't be traded until June 15th. They also won't be eligible to receive a qualifying offer in the future, in, uh, in any future trips to free agency. And these, these are often not taken. Since uh, qualifying offer system was introduced in 2012-2013, only 10 of the 96 players who received a qualifying offer have actually taken the deal. And as most of you know, if the player rejects the qualifying offer, Draft pick compensation now add to the market unless they re-sign with their former team. So those are your like competitive balance uh, picks at the end of the first round. So it'll be interesting to see how all that how all that works out. Especially with the collective bargaining agreement going to be renegotiated. There's Austin Wells refractor to 499. 67 out of 499. And Gregory Santos. GG. Good game. It goes to Brendan and the Giants. U Darvish to 499, refractor for the Padres, Christopher with the Friars. There's Bobby Wood Jr. to 199, 24 out of 199, Fuchsia Parallel. For Kansas City, Nick L. And there's from one Nick to another. There's Nick Fraso. That is for the Bluebirds. John Samuelson with that one. The number 27 Blue Jays prospect. And he's from Torrance. Thomas, do, you, do we remember a Nick Fraso from Torrance, California? What? Yeah. Torrance. He's from Torrance. I didn't realize that. I looked at him. He's like, he's like top loyal Marymount with what? 10 saves as a sophomore. Yeah. Hmm. Earned 
Bay League West, Bay League Most Outstanding Player Accolades in High School Basketball. Father Vincent played at Long Beach State. Went to Loyola Marymount, just down the street from us. That's crazy. I didn't realize that. Born in 98, October 98. Fourth round pick by the Blue Jays. Not bad. There you go, local kid. And this should be the case hit, the Bowman Ascension. I think there's only one of these generally per case. Now, Tommy went to LMU. Never heard of him. You were born in Torrance. I guess you weren't going to a lot of a lot of Loyola Marymount baseball games. Good enough to get drafted by the Blue Jays in the fourth round. That's not bad. All right, then Julio Rodriguez, of course, goes to the Mariners, and that will be PJ. Next, good luck. We've got a what second and seven situation for the Bears here? Come on, Bears, let's get some points on the board. All right, we are halfway through this break. Got about another twenty-five minutes to go or so. TJ needs a Rangers something, anything. I think there's been some Rangers cards here, but. Nothing in the way of autos or numbered cards just yet. Your basketball team only won six total games in the four years you were there. You should have been watching the baseball team, Tommy. And got fourth rounders playing there. First box of the second half of this case. Thanks everyone for making this happen. Appreciate it. Braden Shoemake, Shimmer. And we got Ezekiel Tovar for Colorado. Anthony with the Rockies. Got some purple coming up. Jose Garcia purple, 226 out of 250. Purple chrome for the red legs, Justin. And we'll do an autograph recap, a parallel recap uh, at the end too, or the lower numbered parallels anyway. Mostly auto recap. And we got a red shimmer, two out of five, Anthony Walters. Two train whistles in this case. And this one's autographed. Third round draft pick from Whittier, California. That's about 45 minutes east of us here. Third rounder. Not bad. Another Southern California kid. And out of five. And Ryan, out of fives and under, as you know, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Luis Reyes to four ninety nine. And Luis Reyes refractor will go to the Twins. That's going to be for Christopher in Minnesota. Yeah, Logan looking for some last spot mojo magic. We still got a ways to go. Not over just yet. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody.
Next. Good luck. Sometimes these Dawn of Glory cards can be autographed too. It's a pretty cool insert. There's Tyler Stevenson to two ninety nine. Didn't Tyler Stevenson just get traded recently? I feel like he got traded. Or was that a different Reds catcher to the Tigers? Anyway, Tyler Stevenson goes to Justin and the Reds. And there's the autograph, Juan Then. For PJ and the M's. Number 16 Mariners prospect. Got Gary Ari Arias, 85 out of 250, purple chrome. That'll be for the tribe. That's going to go to John Samuelson. And we've got a Wander Franco Fuchsia Shimmer. Looks like 60 out of 199. That's a pretty cool card. It's going to go to the Rays, Rob, with the Rays. No, not a single Pirate yet. I saw some Cabrian Hazes, but I was kind of hoping for some, some big parallels here. There's Michael Goldberg for Joe and the A's. Got a blue Michael Toglia to 150. We got two, four, six, eight autos left, plus parallel opportunities. Fingers crossed. Next, good luck. What else is happening here? TJ's re-signed TJ. Cardinals re-signed TJ McFarlane. Orioles claim Brian Baker from the Blue Jays. Bregman go, undergoes wrist surgery. And Red's willing to, to discuss Luis Castillo in trade talks. Interesting. I feel like a lot of teams would like a Luis Castillo. There's Logan Gilbert. And another Nick Fraso, Refractor Autograph, 332 out of 499. Torrance Kid. Nice one for the Blue Jays, John Samuelson. We've got a gold Julio Rodriguez, 44 out of 50. That is for PJ and the M's. It's supposed to be pretty good. The Mariners have a lot of youngsters coming up the ranks. And there's Viandel Pena for Washington. Last spot mojo finally strikes for Logan M and the Nationals. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. Number 20 prospect in the Gulf Coast League. Emmanuel Rodriguez for the Twins to 499. 
And that's going to be for Minnesota. That is for Christopher. All right, three boxes to go. Tommy says, you played against Dion Thompson in high school. Who's Dion Thompson? Did I, was he in this break? Oh, you play basketball for UNC. Nice. What inspired what inspired that, Tommy? There's Shaylin Polanco for the Pirates. Aqua. 41 out of 125. There's a pirate. Maybe a sign of things to come for Carl and the Buckos. Regarded the number eight prospect in the international signing class. I think he's one of the bigger names. Let's see if we can find an auto of his. There's Jose Baez for the Indians, John Samuelson. Oh, Deion Thompson's from Torrance. The Torrance connection, I see. Luis Camposano to 299. Fuchsia for San Diego. San Diego, that's for Christopher. And the Friars. And then we had a Wilman Diaz, Purple Shimmer, to two fifty. I'm not I don't know too much about him, but he's supposed to be supposed to be pretty good. Might be a little ways away from from appearing in the majors, but there's his first. That'll be for Walter and my Dodgers. And there's Christian Hernandez, 277 out of 299 for the Cubbies. Parker with the Chicago Cubs, our first Cub. That's a nice one here. Rated number five prospect in his class by Baseball America. Number six by MLB.com. Nice. And there's Pedro Leon to 250 for Chrome. That'll be for Parker as well with Houston. And we've got two boxes to go. Four autographs to go. Two more here. S still looking for that super fracture. I, I, unless someone remembers a super fracture that I pulled, or maybe someone else pulled. I, I know I didn't do all 21 of these breaks. We're on Pick Your Team 22 right now, Bowman Chrome 22. I know I didn't pull one. Maybe personal breaks? Maybe they've pulled one? I feel like they have.
But I know I personally have not pulled a one of one out of here just yet. No, maybe I did. I feel like we pulled... Hmm. Let me look at the checklist really quick. Aren't, aren't there two different one of ones here? No, maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. No, I think I pulled a black mojo refractor out of choice, How can I go? which is a one of one. Hey, see, it's just. So I think I've pulled that, but not a, but not the not the traditional one of one. There's Kale Emshoff. That'll be for the Royals, Nick L. Yeah, so TJ remembers the, the Black Mojo one of one, but the, tr the traditional gold one of one, I think we have not, we, we have, I have not pulled one yet. There's Nick Lodolo to 499 refractor. I don't see, I feel like I would see it right here, but Justin Humphrey and the Reds gets a Nick Lodolo. Interception. Maybe maybe Bears Bears plus seven wasn't a good idea. JD or Marlins. Rob. With the fish. Right, yeah. It was it was the first choice break that I did. It was a mariner. Nice. All right, so nothing since, huh? No one of one since, at least for me. Speckle, 132 out of 299. Shea Langliers for the world champion Braves, Andrew Dawson. All right, final box. Good luck. Appreciate everybody getting into the Bowman Chrome action. I did not see any more cases in the back. So I think this is it for Bowman Chrome until we get more. Not sure what the what the pricing is like on this nowadays. I think I remember people saying as recently as maybe a few weeks ago that that the box the per box and case prices on these were steadily increasing. But either way, thanks everybody for grabbing your team straight up and for making uh, this break happen. I feel like this is overall, I feel like this has been a pretty pretty solid break. A couple train whistles, the, the, the ref jersey and autograph, the, the one per case, this Ascension was a nice player, Julio Rodriguez. Oh uh, yeah, TJ looking for some Rangers. Good luck to TJ, good luck to everybody. If you haven't hit yet, hopefully this will be the box that'll, that'll get you on the board. There's a Ryan Mountcastle to 499, rookie refractor for Vince and the O's. Yeah, Carl's saying it's been a great case, honestly. I just chose the wrong team. And there's uh, Cohen Moreno for the Cubs, Parker with the Cubbies. Your number 18 Cubs prospect.
And we've got some orange Shea Langliers. Actually, this is yellow. That's a 75. 71 out of 75. I remember that the the 75 will tell you it's a yellow parallel, but the color looks looks orangey. Maybe just a slight color misprint when they were printing those. All right. Final mini box. Good luck. Ooh, we've got some orange shimmer, and it's Mick Abel. That's 13 out of 25, Orange Shimmer. And that'll be for the Fighting Phils, Noah with the Phillies. And what's our final auto going to be? Purple Chrome auto? It is Adam Kerner for San Diego, 71 out of 250. So it looks like that's that. Let's see what other parallels we can get. Sorry, Carl and TJ. But congrats to Christopher and the Friars. Let's see if we can get some parallels here. There's a Keel Badu to 250 for Donald and Detroit. And Reed Detmers in the back. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. No randomizers, nothing like that. Okay. Hey, thank you. Once again, that was Pick Your Team 22, full case of Topps Chrome Baseball 2021 edition, or Bowman Chrome Baseball. Thank you, everyone. Pretty nice break. We got that out of red. We might snap a picture of that. The Julio Rodriguez, Bowman Ascension. Another out of red. Another red out of five, that is. The jersey and autograph. So some pretty strong stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll uh, do some more baseball with you next time. Bye-bye.